Welcome back to Siberia. Welcome back to Valadilan. When we last left off, we did some B and E, some breach and investigate. We gathered intel on the Warlberg family. We also archived some evidence of Hans's existence in the form of a mammoth drawing. We gave this drawing to Momo, and he was so appreciative of this gift that he's now going to tell us a secret. So let's listen in, shall we? I hope it's a saucy secret. Hmm. <sighs> there you are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. I was about to say it's like five screens, but... I'll probably walk too and be exhausted. I'm a fatty boom boom. But well done climbing these uh, Alps when you come from New York where everything is like elevators and, and stuff. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. He'd probably complain. Momo don't know Dan. Momo don't know Dan. Yeah, if Dan could see her now, he would probably find something to complain about. He did not make a good first impression. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for Hans, Anna say. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo not liar. Right. Now we're here. What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. Momo, hey, Momo. Cave, right? Cave. He loses track of uh, fucking uh, the plot uh, faster than I do. Tell Damn. me, Momo. Do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away. But hands come back, maybe. Tell me, Momo. I met someone real interesting in the factory. A kind of robot called Oscar. Now, he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train! Train! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Momo, Momo. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I love it fucking every time. God damn, I love that. You are a strange uh, one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varlberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Momo very proud. Alright, so he also looks a little bit like Hans, so... It's easy to see how Anna might have seen her brother in Momo. And also why she didn't want him to go to the factory then. There's just too many... Too many scars there. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. You lived with Anna Varlberg, didn't you? Maybe you can tell me a secret or two about how automatons are made. Anna not want Momo in factory. I think that's just about it. So what we learned so far is... There's a cave. And you should skip stones and water. Momo, That's excellent go information. Now. Thank you but so much. See you later, maybe. I'm just gonna go divine where this fucking cave is, then, I guess. God grief. That was not much of a secret there, was it? So he was talking about the mammoth doll in the cave, so supposedly it's still there. And we have to go find it now. Must be broken. 
I've got to get a helping hand here. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Tell me, Momo. Oh, train! Sorry. Train! Choo-choo! 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 Momo. Goddamn. Can you help me, All please? All right, for real. What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. Urk, urk, Momo, open, damn. And just walks up and kicks it. And it does nothing. God, it, it, it's all Oops. broken now, come on. <laughs> Oops, bleh. Just throw it away, fuck it. It's useless. Okay then, I guess I'll take that because it, now it's an object in the world, which means it goes in the pocket. Everything not nailed down. Everything. That looks broken. D uh, holy... T really now? <laughs> Fucking Sherlock over here. What clued you in? The fact that Momo just fucking broke in? Oh, I can see how this is uh, an, an obstacle for you. Like a whole two feet of water. Holy shit. Might as well give up. You need like a fucking arc to get over that. I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? God, you're so helpless. Ugh, that oar is all dirty and wet. It's all dirty and wet. Ugh. That ore is all dirty Ugh. and wet. I I couldn't be expected to pick up a dirty ore. What do you look like? Some kind of peasant. Alright, I guess that's an yet another thing. We're gonna just use Momo as a, a Momo, fucking uh, goddamn I've got something wheelbarrow. else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Just toss shit in we don't want to carry ourselves. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Mum will say yes. Ah, Mum will carry things for me. Or I'll use the code word again. You'll go choo choo forever. Yeah, he doesn't want to carry it either. Did you know? Because it's fucking wet and dirty. I get you, I get you, Momo. I mean, I know you can't see his face, but I, I kind of, yeah, I get that. He looks like appropriate picking that up, being like, ugh, ugh. Momo, Momo. The can you we help, have to help me, please? Help what again. do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong.
<laughs> Momo very strong. Thank you, Momo. All right. So now that the um, the puddle of water has been drained, or whatever the fuck we just did, we can finally proceed. Momo has gone completely now, and I think we do have access to... That looks like a cave. So something that has been hyped for uh, quite a while now. So let's finally see what's up with this cursed cave. Mm, yeah, looks like a cave, all right. And there's those cave drawings. Described in Anna's diary. Let's see. No. Remember? Can you not? Good description. No, so she's completely unfazed by this. I probably wouldn't be, but uh, okay, let's move on. And there it is. Literally, like, under a fucking video game beam of here's your prize light. There is the accursed and much talked about mammoth doll. This was the one that Hans <clears throat> Hans lost all of his mental faculties for. And they're quite not very impressive. I do believe is there like a close up of no. Okay. Alright, so um, with that anti climax out of the way. Oh shit, there you go. I guess we just return to town. I honestly don't remember what the next step is at this point. I mean, we came out from the mansion that we just had, had, absolutely had to enter. And um, we read about the mammoth Hello? doll and. Hey. Momo Is gave you? us that objective. Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn, who bumped into Joss, and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're gonna be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? How much? 200? How much? Tell us. $140. <laughs> to oh my back, god. I'll go down with you. <laughs> like oh it's my god. Choice. Look, I got Only 140? Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Well, I can give you a blow-by-blow -blow right now. This blows. I don't know. Anyways, went down to Bloomingdale's, and there was Joss, and he just bumped into Katie. And Katie was buying salami, and also she had diarrhea. So, blech. All right. Anyways, as I was saying, we got this objective from Momo in the attic uh, to go get this mammoth doll. And it hasn't really been anything indicating that it's a useful item to us. Other than we know that it exists. It's in the game world. It's not nailed down. It goes in the pocket. So at this point, I honestly have forgotten what the next step is. But uh, we'll go back to town and we will see if we can't just uh, figure that shit out. In the meantime, enjoy the scenery.
Alright, back in town. Still uh, not any clear objectives here. Well, maybe there was one other thing. See the... Um, the diary that we... That we read. Did mention another thing. And we also saw it in the intro. And that's this, this little place up here. And let's see if we can actually enter the cemetery. See, now the gate is actually open. You remember the intro, the automatons closed it after them. Selves. Even. Hello. Uh, okay, oh, so what's you new? Know. We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients, and I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Marson. You can count on me. I... Darn it! God damn it, Kate! Damn it! I want results! Get those tampons out and get me pictures of Spider-Man! Holy shit. Yeah, Kate still doesn't hit me as someone who should work under a guy like that. Marston started out praising her um, as a good lawyer. That's why she's sent here to tie up this deal. It's a very big deal. But she doesn't just doesn't come across as someone with like the the power like in 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 her tone and, and voice and, and presentation to be like yeah I'm gonna get business done so I think that's maybe just a little bit of a um, I forgot words again so let's way. just move on Dissonance. I remember the word today. Dissonance. Kate creates dissonance because she doesn't seem like a lawyer that would go to a place like this. After getting praised from a very business aggressive boss. There. That only took five minutes to say. No point. It's locked. Alright, so that was another locked door, which means... Of course, we're gonna have to do another breach and investigate on this one. I mean, we can't not know what's in there. I mean, that's just... it's not up... it's not up for discussion. I have to know what's in there. It's very important to the purchase of a toy factory that I get inside of a really weird church. Really weird looking. Alright, that was surprisingly easy. He should really unlock this door. He, doesn't he know there's a Venture Game character in, in town? Maybe he hasn't been warned. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get the close-up. Maybe if I... Oh my god! 
Got it. God, I'm a puzzle master. God, this thing's jammed. God, this thing is jammed. So much I heard that. So fucking much. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yank, that's not nailed down. Oh, that's not nailed down. Ah, none of this look, it looks valuable, but... Oh, wait, 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 what is this? Aha! Not very well concealed at all. To my successor, De Valle de Len Paris Priest. The sanctity of confession is a sacred wow, so these revelations are the result of much soul-searching and reflection. One day in March 1938, Rudolf Wurlberg knocked at my door. I was a young priest then, and was overawed by the dominant personality of the town's most important figure. <clears throat> it's, um... Not right click. That's going so well too. I'm not only such a bad reader, it's going really well. Fuck. I remember it was raining that day and beneath his dripping hair, Monsieur Vorobach's face was the very expression expression of eternal pain itself. Through gritted teeth, his eyes swimming with grief, he announced that his son Hans has just died. He wanted me to come immediately to bless the body. I entered the dark drawing room at the family home. Hans's coven was set in the middle, sealed shut. Monsieur Wallerberg explained to me that he wanted no one to see the body of his son. Hans' badly mangled corpse had been discovered at the bottom of a preven precipice. It was presumed that he had slipped and fallen badly. Despite his 18 years of age, the young Wallerberg did not have all his faculties. I believed him. I led the funeral and officiated the mass and burial. We buried Hans Wolberg with all the dignity and solidarity befitting such a tragedy. Life indeed hangs by a thread and I would have surely forgotten this episode only several years later. After her father's death, Anna Wolberg had an accident at the factory and nearly died. Such a close call with death seemed to wake her in her a need to confess. What I heard that day would haunt my dreams thereafter. She told me that the body of her younger brother Hans was not at rest in the family tomb for the simple reason that he was still alive. I had blessed and sanctified an empty coffin. I had assisted and sanctioned a masquerade staged by Rudolf Vorlberg himself to ex exercise the blind hatred he felt for his son. His son had left and he felt betrayed. A man who preferred to believe and make others believe his son was dead rather than accept this truth had shamefully deceived me. What kind of priest was I? And what kind of priest would I become? Our merciful father alone will be my judge. It is my duty to inform you that one of our flock is still unaccounted for. I leave this terrible secret in your hands to do with what you will. Leon Bonard, priest. All right, so more people has been clued in on this little secret. A big one it is indeed. I mean, it's kind of fucking obvious. You put a big blur on the side of it. You know, people are going to be like, what's that for? It's not that well hidden. All right. Oh, okay. I forgot menus for no a moment point. There too. It's locked. Damn it, we can't breach and investigate that room. Damn it. Alright, we'll just have to leave. Oh, but missed you scream to me. You walk past a door-looking thing without even expecting it. Well, my dear, of course I did. But I did it because I knew we'd have to get some of that stuff in there first. So now we will look at this. 
And these are gears with four missing, and we just hand dandily happen to pick up four gears. So let's um, put this mammoth doll in. Oh no, wait, yeah, we'll take the gears, and then we'll put that one in, in there, and. Uh, That one in there, uh, I think that one goes there, and then the mammoth. No, wait, Th that this and yeah, first try, got it. Got him, just I'm so good at this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wound up elevator. I mean, you. You read about and you hear about and you see the automatons, which are like a techno technological marvel that could be wound up and have like a personality. We see this in Oscar. He's probably a very specific build, like uh, something that's never been done before. And you can kind of see those as just really well-made toys or tools. They can be gardeners and, and maybe even chauffeurs and they can carry a casket from one specific location to another very specific location. And and that's all well and good, and th there's some limit to that, but a fucking wound up elevator that can take a person to the top floor of a building without using any electricity? Don't you think that would be like worldwide a uh, thing everybody would want? Like, look, just think about all the electricity you could fucking save, all the coal you didn't have to, to burn. Or am I just reading too much into a simple point-and-click adventure? Alright, so slot in the back of him, and you will also remember that we picked up a bunch of punch cards. I actually don't remember, yeah, you can't even try that. We have the uh, a blue punch card here. Uh, red, uh, green, and purple. I don't honestly remember which is the right one. I think you only use one. So I think I'll see about doing a little safety save here. So we can see all of them in action. Should I pick the right one right off the bat? So that did nothing. I oh, know this one. It's a new one from uh, Katy Perry, right? Who's a current pop star? I don't. I don't follow that. Justin Bieber. Alright, last one, and I do believe this is the one. There we go. longer need these punch cards. From up the window! Fuck him. Alright, so intriguing. We have just opened up somewhere. But, oh, look at that, children. I'm almost all out of tea. So I think we'll stop it here for now. Hmm. Good tea. I'll thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Siberia. Today we did quite a bit. We uh, went all the way to a river, all the way back and grabbed some punch cards and opened the thing. 
So I'll count that as a productive day. I don't get a lot done in a day. 